hi guys and welcome back to the channel thanks for joining me glad you could make it i would like to thank all my regular subscribers and i would also like to thank all the new people who have been coming on board for all the people who have been watching and who have not subscribed i would encourage you to to subscribe just hit that that little red button it's totally free as you know it doesn't cost you anything and it does help out my channel so i would thank you very much if you would hit that subscribe button additionally you should also try to hit that notification bell as well what that would do is ensure that when i put out videos you will be notified of those videos sometimes even when you are subscribed you do not get the notifications or you do get them late so this will ensure that you will in fact be personally notified that i have a new video out and you will of course get to watch it and make your comments as usual and don't forget to comment in the sections down below tell me what you like what you don't like and what i can do to improve the channel what you would like to see me do if you have any special requests i would be happy to accommodate them as well now today we're going to talk about um, the a more economical version of a three bedroom two bathroom design and this one is not l-shaped the l-shaped is a little bit more sprawling and it takes up a little bit more room with this one it is more of a rectangle angular shape and uh, it, the footprint is a little smaller than the L-shaped one and we are going to talk about that one in depth. So this design is approximately 36 feet by 38 feet. It is a bit more economical in scale. While the two bedrooms that would essentially be either your guest bedrooms or the children's bedroom have remained exactly the same as in the L-shaped. The difference here is that adjacent to it is your living slash dining slash kitchen. The dimensions for those bedrooms and that bathroom also remain the same in that the bedrooms are 12 by 12 and the bathroom 8 by 6. Now, the difference, as you can see here, is that because the bathroom is six feet wide, it would be impractical to have a such a wide space. Gaping is what it would actually look like. That would essentially gape into your living space. So to create a little bit more privacy, I have incorporated a small extension on the wall. That wall has also created a small extension for the kitchen because in this design, even though the kitchen slash living slash dining is a much larger space in fact it's 14 by 27 feet the kitchen area has in fact been reduced in size given the fact that there is no additional wall on one side to accommodate that kitchen area so to ensure that the kitchen area is just a little bit bigger I have extended this wall coming down from the kitchen just a little bit to give you that little bit of extra privacy to get into the bathroom area and the bedroom area and that extension on the wall can also be used as an extension of your kitchen so for example cupboards fridge stove of that nature can be placed along that wall of course as I mentioned this is a rectangular design and what I have tried to do is create a sort of a balance in terms of the aesthetic aesthetics of the building of the design and so on the other side opposite to where you have your two bedrooms you will have your single bedroom suite that will entail your bathroom your walk-in closet and a small linen closet in that area there so your bathroom will be 12 by 7 and that is a fairly large bathroom so you can have your if you so choose again in a large space such as this you can have a, an enclosed toilet and of course your normal things like your bath and your sink it is a very economical design as i've said now your bedroom will be 12 by 18 and uh, with that you can also incorporate your walk-in closet into that space and uh, you will have a fairly decent enough space 
Now, um, I'm not going to go into too much detail with this one because I have explained all the design elements in the L-shaped one. And those design elements still apply to this in terms of why the doors are the way where they are. And if you haven't seen that video yet, I would advise you to go and take a look at that one because the explanation for the design elements still remain valid in terms of this one. The idea of putting out this second video is to give you an alternative to the L-shaped design because your space may be just a little bit smaller or you may not want that L-shaped design. You may want something that is a little bit more ultra modern and this particular design can be turned into what we like to call an ultra modern design. Now, we turn our attention to the rear of the building. To the rear of the building, what you will find is a small alcove. And within that alcove, I have also built in a, I have also built a pantry into that alcove and your laundry area. And if you step a little bit outside of that, you will have your rear exit toward the exterior of the building. And of course, that will exit onto a rear patio and over onto a small storage room. Now, the storage room and the patio, those are optional, but I would still recommend them. In terms of construction, those are things that can be constructed after the main building has already been constructed. So they are not critical elements to the original construction but they are usually easier to construct while you are doing it but not critical so that's going to do it for this i just want to put this one here right after the original l-shaped one because i did mention that one in the original video for the l-shaped one and as i said if you haven't seen the video for the l-shaped design i would strongly urge you to go and take a look at that because i have explained all the design elements and those design elements remain relevant to this uh, design also so as usual i am going to say thank you for watching and and I am going to remind you again and that if you have not subscribed yet, I would urge you to just hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well. And uh, don't forget to like and share the videos. And as usual, thanks for watching and you all have a great day.